No thanks. We don't need you. We don't need you. The names are Pillow Talk Poet. I don't even want to, I don't even want to do this video. Like, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the head witch behind the hottie life apothecary. Today, um, we're going to be talking about the fact that Sephora has paired up with this company called Pinrose. Bless them and has created this witch kit, this beginner's witch kit. And I have thoughts and opinions on this, even though sometimes people drag me on the internet because I share those thoughts and opinions with the rest of the world. Now, before I get started, I wanna say that a big part of me, most times, most often times, actually wants to pull myself back from putting myself out there so publicly because as a witch, as a black witch, and as an opinionated black witch, there are many people that like to come and attack. And witches for centuries have been a target for violence and assault because it's so misunderstood. Witchcraft and witches have been kind of hidden under the scenes because we're constantly getting attacked. It has resulted in people losing their lives and people losing their families and their livelihood just because of their belief system. Witchcraft and voodoo and hoodoo are, in my opinion, one of the most commonly misunderstood belief systems out there. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. As a black witch, there are few of us, but more growing in numbers, coming out, um, talking. And it's not just black witches, it's all witches. We're coming out and sharing our practices with each other, and I love that. Instagram connects us, social media connects us to meet other like-minded souls and spirits. So I'm so happy for that. But the way that this was pieced together is problematic because if you look at the kit, it is all of these traditional stereotypes of what a witch is. So I'm curious, okay, Sephora and Pinrose, where did you get your information from? Who did you talk to in order to educate yourselves before you took this, these ideas and put them into a box of fragrances? Honestly, offensive, but whatever. Um, where did you get your education from in order to gather these items and put them in a box and call it a beginner's witch kit? Why? If you were gonna do that, why didn't you educate yourself first? Why didn't you inform yourself first? And let me take a step back. Witches, witchcraft is not a game. Okay, it's not something that you can just paint pastel and push it out into the world and be like, ha 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 It's not that. It is a lifestyle. If you wouldn't do this to any other religion, if you wouldn't mass market it and paint it pastel for other religions, what makes you think that it is okay to do it for witches? I'll wait. I'll wait. For me personally, as a witch, the element of nature is so important to my practice. It is so important to my practice. And when I look at these fragrance oils, I'm, I'm, my feathers are ruffled because behind me is an apothecary full of all natural herbs. And on this side, there are all natural oils and essences. And this is what I use to create change within my environment, within my world. Without all of that and without my belief system and my ability to connect with the divine, and the divine within me, I wouldn't be in a place where I'm at right now where I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm thriving. And for someone to take these fra fragrance oils and, to, and, and these perfumes and to slap these stupid ass names on them and then put it in a witch kit, it does ruffle my feathers, it does. Because herbs and essential oils and all of these elements pushed together, pulled together, are pieces of what make me me and they are also what define me as a witch, a part of what defines me as a witch. So when I see these things getting mass marketed and abused and, and the stereotype of it all, the stigma of it all, and put in a box and painted pastel and like, witch kit, $42, and we're gonna start marketing in, a, in the month of October, the level of disrespect and disregard is defeating, it's exhausting, it's annoying, it's irritating. Let me read to you how they're marketing this, okay. The Starter Witch Kit includes a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and cleanse your ceremony space. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. 
let me start over because, okay. <sighs> the Penrose Starter Witch Kit includes a step-by-step -step guide on how to create and cleanse your ceremony space, charge your crystal, read your tarot card, and anoint your fragrance. I'm done! I'm done! Done. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're funny. Mm, it's a discovery kit for our fragrances as well. Doing a ceremony allows her... Stop. Doing a ceremony allows her to better engage with the fragrances and know them more and know how they feel about it. You can't try a bunch of fragrances all at once, so this method allows her to try a new fragrance each time she picks a card. Stop! That's enough. You're doing too much. You're doing too much and not enough at the same time. How is that even possible? You did it, Pinrose. You figured this out. You've somehow managed to do too much and not enough at the same time. Go sit down. Go sit down. So let's go ahead and look at the names of these fragrances because let's give them the benefit of the doubt, which I have a, I'm notorious for doing to the point where I gotta stop doing that. The names are Pillow Talk Poet. Like, what the? Pillow Talk Poet. What? Like what, what, how, what? How is that connected to witchcraft and witches? What does this say? Secret genius, Mary something, tambourine dreamer, little dipper, gilded fox. I'm done. Okay, so it's just, it's, it's not cute, it's not cool. If you wanted to market your perfumes, your synthetic fragrances, then call it what it is and just be like, okay, this is inspired by, but you're not doing that. You're marketing it as a beginner's witch kit. And that's where the problem is because it's uninformed, it's disrespectful and there's little to no regard. It does the rest of us witches a disservice because you're you're using this to represent all of us. You're spreading out this stereotype that we are working so hard to kind of move away from and to explain and to put these pieces together and be like, this is what this is. It's just, it's, um, it's defeating, it's disappointing. Disappointing, M maybe not defeating, disappointing is the better word to describe it. The next thing is the tarot cards. Okay, so as a tarot reader, I have over 16 years plus experience, I know I look young, with um, professionally reading the tarot. And the tarot is something that is very sacred to me. Now, don't get me wrong, I love seeing these new variations of tarot cards because it does seem like tarot is trending right now within our world. But we can't take away from the fact that tarot cards for many people are a sacred tool for a lot of us. Me personally, the tarot is a, a tool that I use with the intent to connect to the divine and also the divine within me to better understand myself. It helps me to tap into my gifts and to share those gifts with the world, to share those messages. Do you know how much I've learned about myself and other people and the world simply because I set the intention and blessed that deck before I started working with it. So I can respect the fact that this tarot deck is so, you know, unique in its own way. But again, the fact that it's placed and lumped into this beginner's witch kit, again, it's like, I wish, I wish that you would have been in informed before you put it out there. And I want to believe that before they marketed this as a good idea and started, you know, really cementing it and putting all of the images together and the colors together and just the pastel. I love the color pastels, don't get me wrong. But again, if you're going to do it on this grand level, if we're going to take it to this level, be serious about it and actually respect it for what it is. And they did not do that. They didn't do that. I don't care what Pinrose Penrose and Sephora's responses and Sephora hasn't even responded. I'm sure you haven't. I know for a fact that they didn't take it seriously and didn't respect any type of witch or witchcraft when they created this because it's very obvious and apparent when they did it. If you wouldn't do this for other religions like Christianity or Hinduism or any of the other religions and create an, a fragrance oil to help that those religions to better connect within themselves, what? Through their emotions? If you wouldn't do it for those major religions, why is it okay for the witch community? Why is it okay? It's okay for you because you don't respect it. That's 
that's the reality. The next thing that bothers me is the fact that as a witch, I feel like I'm constantly having to um, defend myself or to explain myself to the world. In fact, that is the predominant existence of Bahati life is to share my belief systems with the world in the way that hopefully is understood and maybe will open the door for other people to explore belief systems that are outside what it is that they may know. So when I come on and bear my soul and when I bear my belief systems every every week to people who don't even know me, it sucks to then have something larger visually to cloud my effort because what ends up happening is is that those people who see this pastel witch kit lump the rest of us into that and we become a joke. That's the main thing that bothered me when Kim Kardashian got her hands on the uh, crystals and put them in her perfume bottles. That is the main thing that bothers me when I see sage being packed into a box with tarot, a tarot deck, and fragrance oils and a little rose quartz crystal and people saying that this is a witch a beginner's witch kit so what you're gonna have is a bunch of teenagers and people who are trying to create these ceremony cer like ceremony circles calling it all types of crazy shit using synthetic oils and having it backfire in their face if it even lifts off the ground the other thing is that I wish that there was more education that was connected to this. Let's say outside of all of the, um, you know, outside of all of the, the random items that it is that, they, they, that they've included into this kit, I wish that it was actually researched and that they did this in a way that was informed and knowledgeable and, respect, and respectful because this could be really good for, for witches all across the world if they were sharing real facts, if they were sharing real truth of what being a witch is and what being a witch looks like. That could have been a, an opportunity for, discuss, for discussion and also growth, but they didn't do that. And anytime you take anything and put it in the hands of someone who is not prepared for it and not informed it's never a good thing <laughs> like it's never it's never a good thing that's like taking someone who is so excited to drive a car and not telling them how to run that car and putting them behind the wheel and being like good luck and then walking away it's not going to be good like at some point they're going to using their limited knowledge do whatever it is that they think that they are doing they're going to turn the car on if they are able to figure it out hit the gas and drive right into something and hurt either themselves or other people. And that's what it is that you have done Sephora in Pinrose is you have put tools and by tools, I don't mean the actual tools that are found within this kit because they are nothing. They're not going to do anything. Honestly, when I say tool is you have put an idea into a person's head and say, go ahead, good luck. It's cool. Figure it out. And they are going to, at one point, turn the key, hit the gas, and hurt themselves or hurt other people. And that is what you have done. Ultimately, that is what you have done. And not only have you put people in danger for trying to conjure up and do all types of crazy weird shit that people notoriously do around October anyways, but not only have you put this weapon in their hands because what they're working with at some point there are going to be people who are going to be drawn to certain types of energy or different types of energy work not only have you put them in danger the rest of the witch community is you've lumped us all into this one category and we're sitting there scratching our heads feeling used and abused stigmatized stereotyped and at the end of the day it is exhausting to have to defend that this is another another space in our lives where we have to speak up for ourselves because you you don't respect us. You don't respect us. You don't respect our practice. That is what you have done. You don't respect our ritual. You don't respect our tools. You don't respect our lifestyle. You took this and ran with it and you tried to modernize it and that's why it is offensive and you should have done better. You knew to do better but the crazy thing is, is that you didn't. The moral of the story is witchcraft is sacred. My ritual is sacred. My ceremony is sacred. Sage is sacred. Working with crystals is something that is sacred. Not all witches are typical pagans or, or Wiccans. 
You don't have to be one or the other. The aesthetic was way more important to Penrose and Sephora than the authenticity. And what was more important to them was the fact that it was cute and that it was trending and that's what they ran with. I wish that you guys did more research and that you shared that research that you found or maybe even connected with other witches, sat down and talked to them and did a poll or something, I don't know, before you put all of these pieces together and pushed it out into the world after painting it pastel and being like, oh, this is a witch kit and it's $42. I'm not gonna buy it. I hope other people don't buy it. I actually don't see it really like being so successful in the grand scheme of things, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. As far as people coming at me and targeting me, being like, oh, you demon worshiper, or oh, you're just threatened by this. No, I'm not. Because real recognizes real, and real sees real. And it's not just me who has an apothecary, it's not just me who works oils and herbs, um, and the astrology and the planets, and our intention, and our will, or crystals, or whatever the case is. It's not just me who's doing it, there's m many of us. And more and more of us are coming out of the woodwork and we're sharing our practices, not because it's easy, but because it's needed, it's necessary. Because there are companies like Sephora and Pinrose that like to take advantage of it and market off of it and paint it something that it's not. And the rest of the world says, oh, this is what it is. It's a joke or it's this or that or whatever. And that's not the case. So when they start doing more research and they see the authenticity in the rest of us and we're not, you know, it's not cute all the time. It's actually divine. It's sacred and it's powerful. That will shine through, not the other stuff. And on that note, I'm going to finish my coffee. It is a Sunday. Sunday is a day that is sacred for me in my practice. So that being said, I'm interested in hearing how my tribe feels about it. Last time I spoke outwardly about something that was trending, I got a lot of hate and a lot of daggers. And guess what? I don't care. I would do it again if I had to. Not because I want to, but because I feel like as a black witch that wants to inform and to educate and to break apart the stigma and to advocate for our community, I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to protect us. I feel like I have to be just another face, another voice that says, yo, this is wrong or this isn't right or whatever the case is. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you like videos on my practice, my belief, astrology, you know I'm here for it. You know I'm good for it. Um, I love you. Stay, stay dope. See you in my next video. Bye.